Good afternoon, food lovers, and welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today, our guest is an amazing mother of two, loves to entertain guests in her home, as well as being surrounded by, by positive people. She's been in the Belly Burn Challenge twice, and as you will see, she is devoted to making better choices for her health. The superwoman we are featuring today is Ashley Kapner, and she'll be making some tasty burgers for us, which is perfect for this hot summer weather. Let's get cooking and welcome Ashley. Woo! Ashley. <laughs> Thank you for having me on yes. the show, Neri. Thanks for coming Thank over. You. So today we're going to be making some tasty burgers on the barbecue. So I like to use pork okay. with my hamburger. So we have about two pounds of hamburger versus one pound of pork. Okay. So we can get right in, wash our hands, and we'll start. Okay. So why are we using two different cuts of meat? I like to use the pork because it's a bit fattier and it makes the burgers juicier. Mm -hmm. And I just think that it tastes better. Okay. I think it's just personal preference. Yeah. But that's what I like to do. I've heard people say that as well, that they'd like to use the pork because it gives it more flavor. And you know, it's the, the texture as well, right? Right. So we can dive right in there. We'll put some gloves on to mix up this meat. I free pour everything. I don't really measure anything in my house unless it's baking. Yes, with baking you have to right? because it is a sign. I don't really measure either unless I'm, you know, meal prepping, right? Right. So I'll measure my rice, but for seasoning I don't really measure that also. And it's not fun. It's not right? fun measuring seasonings. So we're just going to dive right in, open this up. So I have about two pounds of cold hamburger and cold pork. And I don't like to over mix it. I just like to kind of get in there. Actually, fun fact, if you over mix your meats, did you know it, it makes the burger tougher? Yes. I learned that on Rachel Ray. So when I was on mat leave, right, which is twice not, that's all I used to watch was Rachel Ray. Yeah. <laughs> So now if you want to throw in some spices. Okay, like what am I? Just free pour, like say two tablespoons. Of this? Holy yep. voodoo? Holy voodoo. Okay. Has a little bit of... Is that enough? I give a little more. There we go. Good, okay. And then what else? So this is garlic powder. Garlic powder? Much? Give her. Give her? Yep. There you go, that's good. Okay. And not as much seasoning. Okay. A little bit more. Then we'll get in there. So this was seasoning salt. Garlic. I like the voodoo. It has a little bit of jalapeno. I think it has onion powder. Okay, so the ingredients are salt, sugar, brown sugar, spices, including paprika, garlic, jalapeno, dehydrated onion, and canola oil. Kind of gives it a bit of a spicy flavoring. Where can you find the seasoning? That is actually at um, Tenderloin Meats, right okay. here in Winnipeg. Oh, a local. Yes. So I definitely need to try this so then. I also don't measure or weigh my hamburger, so I just take my hands and literally just give it a roll. Mm -hmm. Press them down. You can get in here, Neri, too, if you want. Oh, okay. How much? I don't make them too, too thick because then it takes longer for them to cook, right? Right. And you don't want them being pink in the middle. So another tip I learned from Rachel Ray, I don't watch a lot of TV, okay? Just so you know, just Rachel Ray. You actually want to put a hole in the middle because then it just, it prevents the burger from like be becoming like a ball, right? Really? It will, yeah. So then it's more even, I think. That's what I was told. We'll see. Let's try it. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, so this is the burger. Then you want to put the hole. I'd make it a little bit thinner. Oh, thinner? Yeah. Okay. Just so it cooks evenly. I was becoming too generous. <laughs> Every time I'm with Archie, he's like, make the burgers big. <laughs> mm, yeah. He likes his extra meat. There. There we go. Okay. So how many burgers would this mixture make, roughly? I bet you this will make probably, I'd say 10. 10? But we'll make six on the barbecue today. Okay. One more. Do you make burgers often? Um, summertime. Summertime. We like, to, well, we have the pool, so we like to entertain, and it's a fast, easy go-to. Mm -hmm. Hamburgers and hot dogs, everybody will eat a hamburger and hot dog, right? Oh, of course. Do you know how to make vegetarian burgers? I don't. I don't either. But I hear it's pretty easy. 
Oh, you know what? We had Kathy Bodhi on the show. On the uh, she, mushroom she burgers, the mushroom right? burger. It was actually pretty good. So we have six here. We'll just do these up quickly, and then okay. we can put them in the fridge. Oh, it has to be in the fridge? Well, just because we'll only cook six right now. Oh, got So we'll it. keep these, ones other, these other ones just in the fridge for the time being. Okay. So you're part of the belly burn challenge also. How I, was it for you, Ashley? I had an amazing coach named Shelly, so it was great. Aw, Shelly. Shout out to Shelly. She yeah, she's amazing. <laughs> she is amazing. They're all amazing, but I have a little special place for Shelly. Aw, you know, I do too. She's you know? just so sweet, right? Right. Yeah, she is. And Mark is sweet too. Mark Alarnik and Tracy, all the coaches. They're all sweet. great. Yeah, and RJ yeah, and I've Jen. No yeah. one left out. <laughs> I've only actually had Tracy and um, Shelly. They're yeah. both amazing. Mm -hmm. And they both offer they different things. They know so much stuff. You know what I mean? It was yeah. nice to have two different coaches. Okay. I've actually had Shelly twice mm -hmm. and um, Tracy once. Okay. So I've done the belly burn three times. Three times? Three wow. times. So. So this is someone that believes in the challenge. Right. Yes. Good. And I'm glad that we continued with the third lockdown belly burn challenge. Because yeah. I think it held a lot of us accountable and kept Definitely. us going. And you know, we came out of the lockdown in better shape than before. Oh, absolutely. So I'm just going to throw this in your sink. Sure. <clears throat> take off my we'll gloves. This. Okay. Throw that in the garbage. And we can head right outside to do some grilling. I'll and you said hands. that you like um, barbecue sauce on your burgers. I do, but you know what? I don't use regular barbecue sauce. Oh, sorry. I use... Um, I always use this one that I got from Gorilla Jack, the sugar-free one. It's amazing. I love this. Well, let's give it a try. And then I also have their honey mustard sauce, which is fantastic too. And of course, we have our standard mayo, honey mustard, uh, mayo, mustard, ketchup. Say hello to our viewers, Larry. Oh, Bob Bodie's watching. Hi, Bob. Hey, Kelsey. Amanda's online. So I'm gonna take Hi, Kathy. Out. Oh, Mark is watching too. Hey, Mark. Mark. Yeah, we were just talking about you, Mark. So we can take these straight outside, Jerome. Yeah, right. Ashley, say hi to Sandy. Hi, Sandy. I hope you're enjoying your mini donuts. Mini donuts? <laughs> yes. Sandy, where are your mini donuts from? Post a picture. So I have this on 450. I actually brought this little barbecue from home. And I, it's scorching hot, so it's nice. You can hear it. What a beautiful day, right? It's gorgeous. Look at that. Nice and sunny. And then I close the lid right away. I'm just gonna wash my hands. Okay, should I just relax out here? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Why not, right? Who else do we have online? We have Jill Proctor. Hey, Jill. Mandy says, hi, twat muffin. Hello, my twat <laughs> muffin. So Mandy and I have this little thing going on. What's that? That we don't, I don't even know where it actually even came from, but We've gotten such a great friendship that we're just very, very silly with each other and we just have fun because I think that's what Fit Body is. We have yeah. lots of fun. Aww. Yeah, Mandy, she's amazing. She really is. She can damn. She was twerking. Did you see? No. It was on uh, the virtual workout when we had to do the party squats and then she was pinned, right, doing the twerking and she killed it. That nice. was awesome. So Jerome, do you barbecue our burgers oh, or do you fry them at home? Uh, we barbecue. You barbecue? Yeah, we do you barbecue in the winter? Yes. Nice. Do you love this portable one? You know, this is our camping one, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. but it's perfect, mm -hmm. especially for days like today, because you guys love your air fryer. So yes. I wanted to switch it up today and just try oh, okay. the barbecue. Okay. And how long will it take again? I'd say another two and a half minutes on one side and then maybe four minutes on the next and we'll throw some cheese on so Sandy says she got the mini donuts on Furmore in the Canadian Tire parking lot a bucket for $12 mini donuts mini donuts yeah, that sounds yeah. delicious well I mean coming out of the belly burn challenge right you're just craving a lot of stuff so you know you you indulge right and then just reset tomorrow get back on track how much tomorrow. weight did you lose <laughs> oh, I lost if, two pounds. If you, if you wanted to know, I so lost two pounds. I I lost quite a bit, 
I lost about nine and a half pounds. Oh, good for you. Yeah. So I, um, I'm really happy with it and I'm not going to stop. Right. Yeah. I mean, yesterday was RJ's birthday. Mine was a couple of days ago and today we're just enjoying the weekend, yeah. not overindulging. And then, um, we have meal prep ready for tomorrow. So I'll just be back on track tomorrow. And that's what it is. Right. Uh, we're not going to be, I'm not going to go off too far because I, I still have goals to reach. Right. So yeah. What kind of goals? Um, I just want to lose more body fat. Yeah. <laughs> I want to lose more body fat. I'd like to have a flatter stomach. Yeah. You know what it is? It's just being accountable and just keeping track of your food. And so what I do is I actually weigh my food. So with this burger, I could keep track and just weigh the meat. Yeah. So do you weigh before your... Before you cook it or after you cook it? You can do it. both, right? So in my fitness pal, I'll do a search and I'll search for either the cooked weight in meat or the raw weight in meat. It really depends on what I what I do, right? Or what I can find. But I mostly type in the cooked weight. Yeah. And then with, you know, the buns, right? You can just scan the barcode, the sauces, you can scan it too. And it's pretty easy. Now this challenge, I learned how to weigh food. I've never weighed food until this you, challenge. So you have a scale now. I do have a scale. Yes. I was saying to Ashley when, uh, like a few weeks ago, you need to have a food scale. It's so important. Just so you know what you're eating, right? But you don't realize how much more food you're allowed. I know. Right? Yeah. Well, the more you work out, the more you're allowed to eat. No, but like, I would say, I don't know, let's say taco meat. I'm saying a little bit. Oh, okay. I'm oh. like, who's here? <laughs> no, like, I never, I never realized, say how much, say turkey breast mm -hmm. or chicken breast like deli meat how much four ounces is like it's actually quite a bit of meat it is quite a bit of meat. you know what i mean like it's i was blown away i definitely was not eating enough and that's what it is i think people learned from the challenge of that they're not eating enough right yeah so i got a message from mark mark galarnik says next year birthday gift is a barbecue that's amazing because we don't have a barbecue <laughs> well and i asked but you guys don't use one yeah. you guys you, know what? you no. guys had one right we had a we had one but we had a big one and i, I don't want to use a big one and it was just me and rj at the time and so we didn't really use it and just sat outside and we didn't have a, a big yard and we didn't have a big deck so just it never got used but now that i see that you know it makes food taste better and i have a bigger family my family's growing everywhere but maybe a smaller one like right. this one that way we can bring it to the beach if we wanted to right. bring it to camping or whatever it'll work I don't see that. So yeah, I'm, gonna see. I'm gonna leave them probably another minute and then I'll give them a quick turn look at that oh Sandy says you look amazing Neri Sandy you're so awesome thank you Kelsey says you ladies both look amazing and yes 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 to the food scale I agree I always underestimate my food yes. too in amounts. Yes. Yep. So I'm just going to grab the cheese. Okay. So we have it. Maria Dushnishki is online. Hey, Maria. So guys, if you're watching, let me know how you guys make your burgers and what you guys put inside. I always just put salt and salt and garlic. Sometimes I'll take a chunk of cheese. And then I'll... Yummy. Okay, I'm going to give these a little turn here, Jerome. in your household me you do i do it all my husband actually doesn't know how to turn on an oven we were just talking about that yeah, it's true it really is okay jerome yeah who does most of the cooking in your household me oh you do the yeah. cooking jerome no but my wife too but we both do um but do you enjoy cooking jerome yes i do enjoy cooking. Come on. Okay. Turn this It's true. But sometimes you don't want to take away from the tradition, right? It's not the same sometimes. I think Jerome should do a Filipino yes. uh, day. I've been asking yes. for Jerome to come on the show for a while and he doesn't want to come on. I'm and always on the show and see, I'm always talking to you guys. I'm on the show. <laughs> but Jerome, we can always arrange for someone to do the camera as well. And you can show us some of your favorite Filipino foods. He loves Filipino food. He always talks about it. So what's a traditional Filipino dish? 
Synagogue? Yeah, hey, Jerome's favorite food is synagogue. Okay, what is that? It's a sour soup. Sour soup. Okay. We made it on the show. Yeah. I've never seen that one. Uh, we had Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, Wilson came on and he made he the sour on. soup. It's, it's funny though because when Wilson came over to do the synagogue and uh, Jerome was here too and they both ate it, right? They okay. both ate it and then they, they, they took it home. Right. And so RJ wasn't home at the time. So he comes home looking forward to the synagogue. It was all gone. And he was so upset, right? Yeah. He was so upset. But I had all the ingredients left over. So I had to make another pot for him. And you can make it? I had all the ingredients. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But you, like, is it a traditional thing for no, you to I make? No, I learned it from the show. Oh, okay. I'm, like, after they left and then RJ was, you know, he was hungry. So I cleaned up the kitchen and then I made another pot, like, an hour later. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I just did it from memory. It's actually not really hard. No. Yeah, it's just soup. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. yeah, quite tasty. These are nicely barbecuing. Okay, so Kelsey makes her turkey, her burgers with ground turkey, eggs, seasoned bread crumbs, Tuscan chicken burger seasoning from Epicure, parm cheese, green onions, and it has a real Mediterranean taste. Okay, we need Kelsey to yeah. come on the show. Kelsey, Kelsey. contact me. Let's talk. Let's come on the show and show us how you eat. Have you seen Kelsey lately? Yeah, she's phenomenal. She's ripped. She's ripped. Like on her 1,000 workout and her photo, like crazy. You look amazing, Kelsey. So you need to teach us what you eat. Oh, Terry's online as well. Hi, Terry. Get you a fresh plate. Yes, I need a fresh plate. Okay. 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 Maybe another minute or so. I'm very nervous and I'm very shy, so let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> you know, I'm just relaxing. It's such a nice day and it's we're outside, right? And I can see the green trees. It's very relaxing, not having to cook right. for once ago. Right. Literally just waiting for my burger, right? <laughs> we're all hungry here. <laughs> Outgoing, but I'm very quiet. I think you're very outgoing. I think you're very sociable, and um, you know it's because Jerome is filming us live, yes. right? Yeah. Don't worry. Just be natural. <laughs> I'm quiet. I'm just gonna cut into one of these and check how it is. I think we are pretty good here on that one. But did you notice how the burger isn't puffy? No. If you put that hole in, in right? Hole, it really does make a difference. Because that's the last thing that we want to do is open up a burger and it's going to be pink, right? Oh, yeah. But you know what? Okay. So I was talking about that with um, my team from the Belly Burn Challenge. Right. People actually eat yes. raw ground beef and it's called beef tartare. In the States, if you go for a burger like Grand Forks, you need to tell them, yes. well done, or you're getting a raw burger. I know, right? And I thought... I thought you had to have your meat fully cooked. Yeah, but yeah. You could have it pink or raw. Right. People eat it like yes. that. Yes. So I'm, I'm not gonna judge. But you know what? I remember watching an episode of Mr. Bean, and he went to this fancy restaurant. And they just gave him raw ground beef. Oh. But yeah. People just, eat it. Yeah. yeah. It's a big thing in the states. It really is. I find that in the states, you have to be very specific too. Even with the tea. Yes. You have to say you want. Is it sweet tea or? Or you're getting just like brewed cold tea, yeah. right? So I'm going to put cheese on this, Jerome. Mmm, cheese. And did you know they don't have honey dill sauce? No, do you know they don't use vinegar either? They don't use vinegar? They don't have white vinegar in ground forks. How did you know this? <laughs> because I love vinegar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but they have that, is it malt vinegar that they have? Oh, malt vinegar. Oh, malt vinegar is nice. No, you need white vinegar on fries. On fries? Yes. Okay. Oh, Neri, I forgot your uh, sauce. That's okay. Malt right. or white vinegar on, on fries, let us know. I like both. Okay, Terry says, my husband eats all of his beef pink, hamburgers, and steak. His steak has to be running red. See, I love my steak medium rare with a bit of blood, but not so much my burgers. If it's a tiny bit, it's not a big deal, but not like pink, pink. You know what? When you see the red coming out, I don't think it's actually blood. I read about that. It's not It's not blood coming out. You, you, think it's, you think it's blood, but it's not. Maybe someone can confirm. 
But yeah, people like to eat their oh white vinegar on fries. Shall we have it? Yes. <laughs> Tartar so sauce. So I'm gonna pull these off, Jerome. All right. Them now. Mary, would you mind grabbing me another plate so I don't Absolutely. squish these all together? Sure. There Thank you. Go. And Shelly likes ketchup on her burger. Jerome, what do you like on your burger? Uh, heavy all, please. Heavy all? <laughs> that sounds like a Whopper. <laughs> no, sorry. Um, all of it. Yeah. All of it? Uh, tomato, onions, lettuce. Okay, we have all of that. Tomato, yeah. onion, lettuce. Pickle, we have pickles. We have, pickle. uh, we have pickles, yes. Pickle, yeah. some cucumber. I'm just going to wash my hands again. I don't know if I like cucumber on mine, but it's okay. I think that belongs in heavy all. <laughs> that is the, okay, perfect. Heavy all, please. So, what is the correct way on how to build a burger? Ashley? I say whatever you're feeling that day on that mood. Um, you I know? think I'm feeling heavy all as well. Okay. <laughs> it's going to wash my hands. Sure. So, um, do you normally toast your burger? Your you bun? know what? I don't. Okay. But we can. I'm too lazy to do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to eat right now. Okay, I don't know the correct way also, so I'm just going to do what I feel like. I'm sure there's a correct way. Chefs would say you have to do maybe the sauces first, I think. So I'm going to put mayo on mine. And this is, like, I'll grab this one. Hellman's half the fat. And then, what else? Ooh, I think I need lettuce too. And I'll do mine opposite of you. What's the opposite? I'll do oh, lettuce okay, we're, we're opposites. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see which one has a nicer burger then. <laughs> this is a challenge now. <laughs> yeah, what is Shelly, I mean, what is Ashley doing? Definitely opposite. Then I'm going to put my burger. Actually, no, I'm going to put tomato on first. I'm going to grab the mustard here, Jerome. All right. Oh, I like how thick this is. Well, thank you, Ashley, for preparing everything. No problem. And then what else do you I need? love pickles and relish, but I didn't bring any relish. Oh, I have some relish. No, I'm good. You're good? Oh, I'm good. Uh, you know, I like lots of onion. Oh, I love so onion. So you guys don't don't come too close to me. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to grab this with my fingers and put that on there. And then, um, oh, now my burger. And then I like to use my barbecue sauce. It's just the audience how to make their burger. Yeah, how do you guys make your burgers? Come What's the up. correct way on how to build a burger? I know there is um there's a way to do it, but who has time to do that, right? It's whatever you're feeling, right? I'm feeling extra mayo. Okay. There we go. I already got my hands dirty. And how do you guys normally eat your burgers at home? Do you pair it with something, Ashley? You know, I'll just do usually potato chips for the kids, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, or pasta salad, potato salad. Okay. Potato salad's delicious. You know, I think I just need this. I right? think it's good. Yeah. All right. Let's Look dive in. This. Mm. this is my burger. It's heavy all. Actually, it's not. It's not heavy all. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see a heavy all burger. <laughs> it kind of is. Okay. Let's dive in here, Nari. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, shit. That's a signature, Ashley. <laughs> Mouth. You know, in the restaurant, they put the toothpick Cheers. on it. Cheers. Oh, my God. It's huge. Mm. Mm, super good. Mm -hmm. Super messy, but super good. Oh, that burger's good. Mm -hmm. It's not dry at all. It really mm -hmm. is. I can taste the, the fattiness in it. Dive in, Jerome. I will. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Ashley. Thank you for having me, Neri. For coming on the show and teaching us how you make your burgers. Thank you, thank you for getting me out of my comfort zone. Aww. Because that was a huge thing, right? Mm -hmm. I was nervous. You knew how nervous I was. So thank you for getting you know me what? out. You couldn't even tell. 
Well, thank Hi, you, Ashley. Ashley. Thanks, guys, for tuning in and for watching Nary's Kitchen, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye, guys.